It's, uh, today's really a fun day here downtown. It's uh, Santa Hat Day, and so we're trying to break the record for the most Santa hats in one place. But I, whether we break it or not, here's the cool thing. You've got tons of people down here having a lot of fun in, the in downtown, and it's a great way to kick off the holiday season. I, for the first time now, I feel like it's Christmas time. I I'm ready to be in the spirit. Well, we're trying to break the world record again. We uh, had the record a couple years ago and got beat out by a town in Ireland for most Santa hats gathered in a venue, and it's a great event in downtown Brockton. Yeah. Well, you know something? I'm really feeling good about this. Uh, we're not going to announce the official count because it has to be adjudicated, but there is over 800 people here, so we've taken our record back, and we feel really good about that because we, of course, are the home of the first department store, Santa, so how much better does it get than that? So we're reclaiming our record today as uh, the most Santa hats at one time in one place. And I think we're doing a fabulous job because, of course, we are the city of champions. If nobody does go after it, we're going to just keep doing it because this is great. Anytime you can get this number of people together to celebrate the pride that they have for this city and feel good about themselves, why not do it? Well, they got Joe Lupica as a world-famous DJ out there today, and he's got the kids dancing, and everybody's having a good time, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful event. My baby, she's all right. My At Brockton High, actually on Friday, we had our own Santa Hat Day, and thanks to John Marion and the Brockton Businessmen's Association, we we received a lot of Santa hats uh, free, about 2,000 Santa hats for free, and then also we encouraged all the kids to bring in with their own. And you had to see the school on Friday; it was so funny. You'd walk down the hall, and in front of you, Santa hats would be bobbing up and down. And you know, it, here they are, high school kids, and they're, you know, they're sort of grown up, but. How can you not laugh and smile on a day when you see thousands of Santa hats around you? So I think it's a great idea. I mean, it's fun to get the spirit about breaking the record, but more than that, it's it's fun to bring people together in a real positive way. Yeah. You're taking up after yourselves? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's not what I'm getting for reports. You still got a month to go to be good. It makes me step back a little bit because we hear a lot of things about this community, but this certainly doesn't represent a lot of the things that we hear. I mean, this is what this community is all about. To be a part of it, and I am a very small part of it because there's a big committee that puts us all together, okay? Uh, I'm very humbled, uh, and I'm really uh, happy to be a part of it. I want to thank John Mary and the Downtown Brockton Association, all the workers and all the volunteers, and especially everybody who showed up today. It's a great event. And a lot of young children out there today, and it's a positive, positive event for the city of Brockton. I just uh, think that Brocktonians have much to be proud of in their city, with the high school, and the various things we're doing with our young people. And while we have challenges and we have steps to go, we are going in a great direction, and we're just going to keep going that way. And I just want all Brocktonians to be proud of where they live and be able to say with pride that they are Brocktonians. We got all the holiday uh, music coming up at the high school. This is going to be a great month. Great, great five weeks. And uh, we encourage more people to utilize the businesses downtown. Thank you from the City of Champions.